Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 14 by 18 inch gallery wrap canvas that I'm going to do a swipe on, just a simple swipe. And I used this uh, palette of colors in the past and I had noted that I really liked the outcome. So I've duplicated them again. Most of the paints I'm using today are the Arteza, except for my swipe color, which is going to be um, Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash Turquoise Brilliant. So I'm going to try a color shift paint for my swipe color. I've never seen it done before, but thought I'd give it a try. And let's go over my paints today. Uh, most of them I did make a combination of. First is, I took the Mars Black and 50-50 uh, with Silver of the Arteza and mix that together. And then I took the Crimson Red Arteza and mixed it with the Silver 50-50. And I do have Phalo Blue Arteza just by itself. And then I took the Phalo Blue and I mixed it with Pale Green. And then I have Lemon Yellow that I mixed with White of the Arteza. And lastly, I have the uh, Pale Green mixed with White to lighten it up a little bit. And I believe that's it. I have a phalo green also. So, um, pouring medium today is uh, two parts Floetrol, a half a part of the Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, one part paint, a squirt of GAC 800 was added to all the paints, no silicone today, um, but I did have to thin a few of the paints with my 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture, because I wanted them to be a, on the little bit on the thinner side for the swipe. And I'll show you the consistency here. Just leaves a little mound, or excuse me, a little trace, and then disappears. So let's get started. I'm going to do a swipe from the middle out. And as you can see, I do have a real thin layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I mostly do that for my edges. I like to have a layer of paint on the edges with the swipes. So let's get started with layering the paints. I think I'll start with my, uh, my bluish green here. And then I'll just go with the phalo blue. And this turned out to be pretty silvery, this Mars black and the silver. And we'll just go now with this light green, pale green, I guess it was called. And I've been thinking about um, doing a video on just a simple puddle pour for those for uh, you parents and grandparents out there that 
maybe looking to do activities with your children or grandchildren during this time of um, being homebound. And if that's something that you'd like to see, could you leave me a comment on that? If I get enough positive comments on that, I can go ahead and do that. Just something simple that um, doesn't take a lot of time and a lot of talent. It's re really an easy pour and it is fun. And I did, I think I told you in a previous video that right now um, Joanne Fabric and um, Joanne Fabric and Michaels has the curbside pickup. So if you order free, uh, canvases and paints online, you can um, make arrangements to pick it up right in front of their store. They're making it very easy for you to continue doing your crafts, which is a, a good thing during this time. Actually, during this time, I've had a little extra time to be able to um, video more than I normally do. And if you can hear snoring, that's my dog. She likes to uh, accompany me down to my art room here. Keep an eye on me. And I will be tilting these paints to cover the whole canvas when I'm done before I start swiping. Let's go with the blue again here. And some more red. I may come come through here too and just add a little bit of white. Let's put green down here at the bottom. And I'm going to just put a little bit of white here and there and there in this painting too. Why not? In those open areas. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of tipping now just to mix the colors up a little bit. Okay, and now I will add my swipe color. I'll try to start with just a, a thin line of my swipe color. 
see how that goes. If I need to add more, I always can. And I think I will swipe with just my plastic sheet here. And just lay that tip of that plastic sheet in the swipe color and bring it down. And I can cover my edges also right away with that. Okay, we'll try that again. And I will just touch the edges here. Okay, now I will turn the painting around. I haven't worked with very many of the um, 14 by 18 inch canvases. I kind of like this size. It's not too hard to work with. Okay, I think I'm going to um, add a little more here of the swipe color. And maybe in this area. Okay. Maybe a little more in this corner here. All right. Just make contact with it. Touch my edges. Just clean off my plastic here. And one one more time. Okay, and I have little cards here that if I see any area that I would like to go over again, and I would like to go over that area just a little bit here. And I'm just going to do a little tipping back and forth here. Turn it around. And I'm going to get this area down here. And I'm going to tip it this way a little bit.
just to get the paint to run down around, around that edge, that far edge there. Okay, now I will torch it. We'll see what comes up. Looks like I am getting a few cells right now. Okay, I'm going to take my skewer and I'm just going to run some lines through here just to, get, just to give the eye something a little extra to uh, look at. And also I'm getting, um, while doing this, I'm getting rid of some caterpillars here that I don't really care for. So we're going to go right through those. I just like adding that little extra technique to a painting like this. Okay, I'm just going to check the sides here and finger pop them, as Julie Cube says. If you ever get a chance to watch Julie Cube, that's Julie with a G, G I L L Y, Cube, K U B E. She does a lot of swipes, very pretty swipes. And I get a lot of my inspiration from Julie. I'm going to turn it this way so I can check this far edge. Okay, looks like I have just about everything covered. And I am going to do another, I'm gonna do another uh, torch here. And I think that this just needs a little something extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skewer, take my gray. I'm just going to run it right through the middle here. Just to break that up a little bit. Very fine. Yeah, I like 
that a little better. Let's do a little bit of tip here. Just to blend that line in a little bit. a little more here sorry I'm out of the camera here but I'm just gonna tip here on this far side a minute and then bring you back and I'm gonna tip it back again If you've watched my prior swipes, you'll know that I don't absolutely have to have that line in the middle. Matter of fact, I like it if it's not. So I'm just going to clean off the bottom here now. And I'm going to give it another torch. I'm still bringing cells up here. I'm pretty happy with this. It's very colorful. Really like the color combination I have going here. Okay, and I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Again, this is a 14 by 18 inch gallery wrapped canvas that I've done a simple swipe on. Here is the upper left hand corner. A few little cells there, some cute little cells. I like this area down in here, the lower left hand corner very bright like those cells happy little cells i'm going up the middle here pretty up in here too some more happy little cells there this is the upper right hand corner and when this dries, I'll see how that color shift paint worked. And I even have some lacing here, a little bit of lacing. Some more cute little cells here, little, little bunch of cells right in here. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. And the sharing is also very important. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for hey, now. Hey, everybody. It's Deb again. I wasn't happy with the swipe. I kept looking at it and I let it sit there and I thought I knew I had 
really a lot of colors underneath the swipe. So um, I did balloon kisses and balloon swipes on it. And again, I've learned that from Jilly Cube. So this goes out to you, Jilly. Thank you for so much you've taught me. And let's go over it. This is what we're going to call the bonus bits, as, Ju as Jilly calls them. This is the upper left-hand corner. And I'm just going down the left-hand side here. Just beautiful in here with all those pretty balloon dips I did here. Lots of colors. And I'll take you up the center here. I tried to leave a little bit of uh, plain space once in a while, too, like you'll see in this white right here. Real pretty in here. This painting eventually will be on our Etsy site for sale. So look for it there. I'm so glad that I decided to do the, the balloon dips and the balloon swipes. This is a swipe right there along with the balloon dips. This is the upper right hand corner. We're just going down the right hand side now. Again, here's a couple more of the swipes, the balloon swipes. And the lower right hand corner here. So this is the improved, uh, the improved swipe here with balloon dips. So let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching everybody and take care. Bye for now.